y'all it's Molly and if you're new here I'm Molly welcome to my channel make sure to like comment and subscribe and I'm so happy to be finally sitting down and refilming this video because first I filmed it footage looked terrible um, then my SD card decided to tell me that it was locked when it wasn't so I had to deal with that and now it's like 1130 and I'm just now sitting down to refilm it, so it's been a day. But today I'm going to be doing a top 15 of my favorite TV shows for you. I wanted to do a top 10, but I realized I watch so much TV that it would not all fit into 10. <laughs> so I'm going to do 15 with a couple honorable mentions. Um, but yeah, I hope you enjoy this video. So these 15 are my top absolute faves. They're the shows that I think of when I think absolute favorite TV shows. The honorable mentions that I'll get out of the way now are Orange is the New Black, Pretty Little Liars, Bones, Criminal Minds, things like that. These are the ones that I still really enjoy and I'll sit down and rewatch, but they're not my go-tos. So that's why they're honorable mentions, but I couldn't not mention them because they're really amazing. So I'm just going to jump right into it. Number 15 is That 70s Show. I just really love the fashion, the humor, the character development. Um, I see a lot of myself in Donna and Kitty. I mean, <laughs> Kitty is hilarious. Um, but I just really love the show. I love that it's a group of teenagers, but they're still relatable. I mean, I'm not a teenager anymore, but I still find it humorous and not like I'm watching something that is below my age level. So that's what I really like about that 70s show. It's hilarious. <laughs> Number 14 is Doctor Who and oh my gosh, I could make an entire video just chatting about how much I love Doctor Who. I've been watching Doctor Who since around 2006 when they rebooted it and just a little bit before that here and there like some of the classics. I grew up watching Doctor Who and I grew up watching companions like Rose. Um, be just very sure of their voice and outspoken and I think that's a pretty great thing. I think it's awesome how they're not just like going along with some alien that just sh showed up and is years and years older than they are and going, okay, whatever, you'll, I'll do whatever you say. No, they question him and I think that's pretty cool. I love that it's fast paced and quirky and intelligent. I love that it makes me think. Um, Stephen Moffat and Russell T. Davies are two of my favorite writers for the show. Um, they wrote some some of my favorite episodes. But yeah, I adore Rose and Ten. Ten they're my favorite companion couple. <laughs> Coming in at 13 is American Horror Story. It's not just a raunchy, gory show. It's got roots in classic horror stories and folklore, and it's also got ties to literature. I mean, I really, really enjoy um, watching it and picking out all of the symbolism in the show. Um, Murder House is a really good one for that. American Horror Story is way more than just a gory TV show. Number 12 is Supernatural and again I really love spooky TV shows. Um, it has roots in classic ghost stories like Bloody Mary and things like that. Especially towards the earlier seasons. I love that. And I mean Dean in the 67 Impala. I mean, beautiful. Plus Jensen Ackles is from Dallas, Texas, which is where I'm from, so that adds to it. Number 11 is Gossip Girl. It's a show that you kind of watch for shits and giggles. The characters are so ridiculous. It's just so fun to watch. I love watching all the shopping and the luxury that Blair and Serena have access to. Plus, the lead singer of one of my favorite bands is also in the show, and I love her character. Plus, who Gossip Girl is, is like, what? <laughs> but I'm not going to give away any spoilers, don't worry. Number 10 is Sherlock. It's also a BBC series written by Stephen Moffat, who was a writer for Doctor Who, like I said a second ago. It's also fast-paced and intelligent, makes me think, but the humor is just a little drier. And I mean, Benedict Cumberbatch. Need I say more? Number 9 is The Walking Dead. It's just one of those shows that keeps getting better and better. Um, as you watch, Jeffrey Dean Morgan and Norman Reedus are actual babes. Like, oh my god. Number eight is The Office. And I know it's like totally cliche to have on a top 
10 to 15 favorite TV shows list, but I really love The Office. Like, I can watch it over and over again, and I love watching Jim and Pam and the other characters. They just really grow on you, and I can just go back and rewatch and laugh at all the jokes still. So it deserved a place on this list. <laughs> New Girl is my number seven. I eerily relate to Jessica Day. Like, it's crazy. Like, got the brown curly hair. I've got, I literally just reached on my bed and grabbed my glasses, the square giant Ray-Ban glasses. I love baby animals and I have touched glitter in the last 24 hours. Um, also she's got the English teacher thing and I'm an English major so a lot of her personality is just like really sweet and I don't know. I just relate to Jess a lot. Plus the other characters in the show, I love how they interact with each other and their personalities and they have the funniest one-liners. Number six is Grey's Anatomy and I'm actually watching the newest season that they put on Netflix right now. The show is also like a giant adrenaline rush because they're constantly fighting to keep people alive and the little monologues from patients and doctors here and there about life are really touching and I like that. The air conditioning just came on, so ignore that. If you can hear that, I don't even know if you can. Number five is Riverdale. It's also got that retro vibe, which I really like. One of the characters, Ronnie, she really made me want to get a nice classy string of pearls. I just really like how elegant it looks. So I got myself a string of pearls for my birthday. And then you got the Southside Serpents, which I've got a t-shirt that says Southside Serpents. I adore the Southside Serpents. And plus, I've had a crush on Cole Sprouse for like 10 years. I've been watching him since Sweet Life of Zack and Cody and all of that and he is adorable. Now number four is Gilmore Girls which is my fall TV show. I started watching it in the fall. It makes me think of fall. It's even got like fall leaves in the intro so it's a great mother-daughter show. I love that Lorelai and Rory don't just get everything handed to them. They actually have to work for it. Um, I just love how real it is. Number three is Shameless. <laughs> kind of that guilty pleasure TV show because it is a little raunchy, but it's also got characters that really, really grow on you and you start supporting them. They're the kind of underdog characters that it's like they keep doing stupid stuff, but you can't not love them and root for them. Um, but yeah, I love Shameless. Number two is Friends. I grew up watching Friends, again, like Doctor Who. It's that show that I can put on when I need cheering up. It's got the laugh track behind it, and laughter is contagious, and it never fails to make me laugh. So that's my kind of feel-good show. And finally, at number one, I've got The Vampire Diaries. If you haven't noticed the pattern yet, I really, really like shows that are supernatural. Vampire Diaries has got the doppelgangers, the vampires, the werewolves, the witches, all of it. They've even got witch vampires. Elena and Damon are my absolute favorite TV couple. And something that's very important to me since I love Ian Somerhalder, I love Damon's little quips. They just make me laugh. And this show is super important to me because I started watching it with my best friend and then it turned into my mom's and my TV show that we watched together and I just really love it. But yeah, that's my top 15 favorite TV shows. I, I think you can find all of these on Netflix, but yeah, Netflix, if you wanna sponsor me, I'd be extremely happy to since I use your service constantly. Um, <laughs> but yeah, make sure you let me know what your favorite TV show is. Just type it down in the comments and I'm always open to new TV shows and talking about TV shows. I love TV shows. I watch way too much anyway. But make sure to like, comment, and subscribe and all that good YouTube stuff, and I will see you in my next video. Bye dolls.